Mark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. With first alert weather, this is WKYT News. Hi, everybody. You're looking at a live picture. This is Interstate 75, and it is essentially a parking lot. This is the southbound uh, lane that we are in facing uh, toward the Clays Ferry Bridge area. That's the northbound traffic that is coming at us. That northbound traffic is at least moving along just a little bit. This is what folks uh, are dealing with right now across the entire region. This has been the scene on Interstate 75 southbound for the past three or four hours. Nothing is moving as heavy snow continues to fall. And that, again, is a scene that isn't just localized to Interstate 75. That is showing up across roadways into central and eastern Kentucky. But you're looking even where the road is technically moving, that is the pace that it is moving in. You see folks there with their blinkers on, and they're coming up an incline. So for uh, front-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive cars especially, it's going to be a tough go at it. But that southbound traffic has been at a standstill because of accidents. We've had numerous accidents across the interstates, 75 and 64, on the Mountain Parkway, on the Bluegrass Parkway, on the Western Kentucky Parkway, and down into the Hal Rogers Parkway areas. This uh, major snowstorm continues to effectively now shut down central and eastern Kentucky into the western parts of the state as well. Good afternoon to you. WKYT News at 4 begins with first alert weather on this first alert weather day. This is why we have been trying to get your attention since Monday to the potential for a major snowfall that can cause a lot of issues. It's not only impacting you guys, it's impacting us here at the station as well. Uh, You're noticing this is me right now. We got Amber, we got Bill that are stuck in traffic in different locations, and they've been in their uh, cars for a while trying to get into work. And my concern for folks who are stuck on the interstates going forward, you may be there for several more hours as we continue to see the snow. Now, the snow is technically lighter than what we were dealing with a little bit ago across Lexington, but look at the view in the downtown. It is still putting it down. We've got anywhere from six to eight inches of snow on the ground right now in Lexington. We may add another inch or two on top of that before this thing wraps up as we get into the evening hours. Visibility is starting to come down again. There's a little heavier burst of some snow that is rolling across downtown Lexington. Let's go to London, Interstate 75. Now you look here, notice there isn't a whole lot of traffic on the interstate. It is in much better shape the farther south that you get once you get past Rockcastle County where the interstate has been closed there as well. So this is interstate traffic on 75 near London uh, in Laurel County. And uh, it didn't start snowing here until later in the day. So they haven't picked up as much as what our neighbors here uh, to the north and northwest. Well, this is our Somerset cam just a few minutes ago. This was looking uh, at a snowy scene. Now we got snow that is collecting on our lens here in Somerset. We can get that adjusted to show you a little better uh, picture of the snow coming up in a little bit. All right, updated call for snowfall. Listen, we're already into the low end of this and into the middle of this. Some folks across the areas in red are going to wind up with 9, 10, or 11 inches of snow. So a major snowstorm is uh, continuing to pound the region. Notice how you go to the north, and those totals, like we have said all week long, we're going to drop off big time. So we're picking up coatings into northern Kentucky around Covington. Got an inch or so around Maysville. And then once you get into, I had a report from the Toyota plant up here in Georgetown of about three inches of snow. And then farther to the south, we've got that 5 to 11 inch range from Lexington south and east. And that matches up with where the National Weather Service decided to put out that winter storm warning for the entire region. They put this uh, out yesterday for the areas south of Lexington. They started to include more and more counties on the northern edge of this through the day. That includes northeastern Kentucky as well. That goes through the evening. So the radar picture, and the way we color code our radar gives you a really good look at where the heaviest snows are falling. So the blues are where it is absolutely blinding snows. Eastern Kentucky, it's still putting it down uh, in a moderate clip here in the Lexington, but it's not as heavy as what we had. And then there's another burst of some heavy snow getting into parts of south central Kentucky. 
Here's the snow down the mountain parkway. This is going to likely shut down some roads. We're going to cause a lot of, uh, the snow will cause a lot of accidents, unfortunately, for folks who are trapped out on the roads. It's going to be a long haul uh, for the next several hours before you can get home. Moorhead, eastbound and westbound on 64 uh, out of Clark County into Montgomery County. Montgomery County near Mount Sterling, major pileup along Interstate 64 that has shut that road down. And I was looking at, we had some video of that a little earlier and the it was a tremendous amount of cars, had some semis involved with that. And then you had a 40 to 50 car pileup that is being reported on the Hardin Grayson County line along the Western Kentucky Parkway. And that one also involved a lot of semis. So here's the Lexington Metro, Richmond, Everybody in this general area south of Georgetown has picked up at least five inches of snow up to eight inches. Georgetown and north, it starts to lighten up a little bit with one to three on the ground. You could pick up another inch or so that extends back into Franklin County and those snows are going to keep coming at us in Lexington for about the next three hours. Lighter snows than what we had. Here's the view up close and personal. And uh, I haven't checked my Twitter feed in the past few minutes, obviously, because I've been out here with you guys. But the last reports I started to see of folks here in Fayette County were up to seven and a half inches of snow showing up. Let's take a little trip on Interstate 75, where we were showing you that video earlier. Garrett Weimer joins us now into southern Fayette County. And Garrett, you have been stuck on the interstate for how long now, my man? We got out here probably around 1130, almost a little bit before noon, and we have been out here. We are stuck on south, in the southbound lanes on 75. So we are between exit 99 and the Clays Ferry Bridge, not even to the Clays Ferry Bridge and exit 97 yet. We've seen some snow plows, a couple snow plows go northbound here and you can see traffic moving a little bit northbound uh, probably in a little bit uh, better of a mood over there than we are over here uh, southbound has been stuck for hours like we said we've been out here since before noon you can take a look at uh, some of the video and it has been a standstill since before noon we were actually on our way to richmond at the time and we got uh, we it was slow going to this point and now it's just been an absolute standstill. We have watched as the snow just piled up out here. I just uh, checked a few minutes ago, had uh, six and a half inches, and that is in the middle of the interstate here. Should be pavement, should be people driving. Six and a half inches at the last check. And there's just nowhere for us to go. Like I said, between, uh, between two exits here, there's really nowhere for anyone to go. And that has put some folks here, they say, in a bit of a tight spot. I'm a diabetic. I have no food in my car. I do have some water. <laughs> um, I'm on a quarter tank of gas because I had half a tank when I left Nicholasville. And we're just sitting here watching the snow pile up on the road, making it even harder to get home. That gas station is right off exit 97, two and a half miles away. I looked at it on Google Maps, just two and a half miles away from here. Uh, so close yet so far though uh, we've heard from us from other drivers around us they say uh they had seen some drivers turn around and try to get off the interstate at exit 99 about a mile up the road from where we are and they ended up sliding off the exit ramp crashing there making another mess there and as time goes on like i said we've been here more than four hours now and as time goes on those tough situations like we just heard about there's going to be more and more of them in fact, there was someone who just behind us, in the car behind us, just walked past us a few minutes ago. They were going to try to walk to that gas, gas station, so they needed to get to a phone charger. The other thing is, the longer we wait out here, the harder it's going to be to get going once we finally do get going. Live on I-75, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. Garrett, obviously you may be there for just a little while and uh, stay safe out there. All right, the uh, governor of Kentucky, Andy Bashir, has uh, released this statement. I've deployed National Guard teams to assist the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet and the Kentucky State Police. We are using every resource available. Again, please stay off the roads unless absolutely necessary. So the governor of Kentucky is now deploying the National Guard, and that is uh, to help all the stranded motorists who are out there across uh, the entire 
particular region. This isn't limited to just what we're dealing with across central Kentucky. This is far reaching. This goes from western Kentucky all the way to the mountains of eastern Kentucky as well. In eastern Kentucky, we're going to get in on the worst of the weather coming up over the next two to four hours. You've already got several. I just had a seven inch uh, report of uh, snow out of Clay City into uh, Powell County. They may pick up another three inches of snow before this thing winds down. Meteorologist Allie Blake is also out with us this afternoon. Allie is a passenger in uh, this uh, vehicle that is out giving us live reports from the road. She's not driving. She's in the passenger seat. Allie, what are you seeing out there? Obviously, a lot of snow. Yeah, Chris, I mean, we're seeing a lot of snow. Right now, we are on Man of War just past Tate's Creek, and there's not a lot of people on the roads, which is good, but we can really feel the car sliding just a bit out here. So far, we've been out, at least me and our photographer, Steve Moss, since about 3.30, and we've seen two snow plows, only two so far. We've seen multiple cars, you know, stuck in ditches. I mean, even this car looks like it might be stalled out right here. Uh, we've seen roads closed by police. Earlier, we tried to make a trip onto Liberty Road. It looks like there was a gas truck that had been stuck, maybe couldn't make it up the hill. I mean, we're seeing people walking to around. I mean, not really a whole lot going on. I mean, because just of all the snow, the roads are so bad. I've been out earlier today. I came back from Nicholasville. And like I said, it took me about two hours to finally get back to Lexington. Looks like we do have some cars stopped up here. Hopefully that's just because of the light ahead. But, you know, the snow has gotten a bit lighter, which is good. It does look like though traffic is starting to pile up in this location. I mean, we're going to continue to stay on the roads and see exactly what they're like in this area. I mean, you can also see the wind if you can see through the camera blowing snow through the trees. It does look like we have an accident up ahead, so soon we'll get be able to take a closer look at it. But for now, we're just going to continue to drive on the roads, make sure everyone stays safe out there, um, and just really stay safe during the storm. Live in Lexington, Allie Blake, WKYT. All right, Allie, you guys, as always, stay safe out there. And it, it is still incredible to see so many cars that are out there on the roads. This is one of those evenings, I'm telling you guys, and you rarely ever hear, ever hear me say this, just stay home. We do not, there's, unless it's an emergency, there's no reason to get out on the roads like this, especially when there are major, major backups right now. So that's what we are dealing with. So we've got, as I mentioned earlier, Amber and uh, Bill have been getting into the studio. Amber's arriving right now. Bill is still stuck on the interstate. We're going to check in with Bill coming up here in just a little bit. WKYT team coverage of this major winter storm continues in just a moment. Stay here. WKYT really is everywhere. Find us on Apple TV. Boneless wings gone wild. Zaxby's all-new Buffalo Garlic Blaze. Saucy, savory, spicy, spectacular. Try it on the new Buffalo Garlic Blaze Boneless Wings meal. Comes with fries, Texas toast, and a drink. Only at Zaxby's. When patients can't move, we have to move them. So I'm moving one and my back goes out. Now that's some serious pain. So I call 855 Wildcat for workers' compensation. They got my medical treatment paid and got me paid for lost work. Going after the benefits you deserve, that's Kentucky courage. For work injuries, call 855 Wildcat, Morgan Collins, Yeast and Salyer. In the last year, there was a victim of identity theft every three seconds. Could it happen to you? Somebody used my identification and they had actually purchased the car and drove it off the lot. I didn't know what to do, but thankfully I had LifeLock. LifeLock alerts you to identity threats, and if there's a problem, we work to fix it. LifeLock provides the type of protection I need. Help protect what's yours with LifeLock Identity Theft Protection. Call right now. Looking for games that multiply winnings up to 200 times with more than 118 million in total cash prizes and a top prize of $1 million? X marks the spot. The new X scratch off games from the Kentucky Lottery. At CareSource, we get you. We get that you're working hard, but you still need to buy your own health insurance. I got you. We get that you want big benefits for a small budget. I got you. That's why we've made our Marketplace health plan so easy to afford. In fact, four out of five Marketplace customers I got you. I got you. can get a plan for under $10 per month with financial help. 
get great benefits, get a great rate, and know that we'll always have your back. Care Source, we got you. New year, new news. Get more local news and first alert weather from the team you've always trusted. Now on the CW Lexington. Weekdays from 7 to 9 a.m. City leaders in Lexington are making progress. And every night at 10 p.m. Tensions are rising tonight. Not sure where to find the CW Lexington? Go to CWTV.com and enter your zip code to find your channel. It's new. It's local. It's WKYT News on the CW Lexington. WKYT is bringing you a doubleheader of high school basketball. First up, it's Lexington Catholic facing Innsworth from Nashville. Then two of Kentucky's top teams, Ballard and North Laurel, battle it out. It all starts Saturday at 1 on the CW Lexington. If you like something with a little kick to it, you're going to love Saxby's Buffalo Garlic Blaze. Savory, spicy, simply delicious. The all-new Buffalo Garlic Blaze Boneless Wings Meal comes with fries, Texas toast, and a drink. Only at Saxby's. All right, welcome back in, everybody. Here we are on a day featuring upwards of eight inches of snow. You know, one of the uh, famous WKYT uh, rulers that we have here for you. A lot of folks have those. So we're talking about upwards of this much snow into the Lexington area. That is a lot of snow. And to come down in a few hours' time, and it's not just limited to Lexington. It is across central and eastern Kentucky. And you know what? You're not the only ones dealing with a slow go on the roads. Our own Bill Bryant has been trying to get out of Madison County and into Lexington for, I believe, we're going on, what, four hours now? Bill joins me now from somewhere along Interstate 75. Bill, how you doing, my man? Very close. To, I'm okay. Very close to that. Uh, right. I uh, left uh, around noon. And, uh, you know, a normal 20-minute commute has now uh, been uh, more than four hours. Uh, it's not like we didn't know it was coming. Uh, obviously, <laughs> you told us that, but the, the road has been a mess, a parking lot, and, and uh, numerous accidents uh, along the way uh, as folks are trying to, uh, to move along and, and navigate in this uh, very tough uh, situation out here. Uh, I-75 just, uh, you know, virtual uh, standstill. You'll move a few yards every couple of hours or so. I hope you will uh, forgive the wipers you hear going and the occasional alarm that says I'm into some ice here along the interstate as well. You know, one of the things I noticed today, Chris, that so many people are out trying to get some work done during this day before uh, this was to hit about midday, which of course it did, and it got serious very quickly. But you you see work trucks, uh, you know, electricians, uh, uh, heating people, uh, plumbing folks out uh, who are taking that route between Lexington and Richmond, and a lot of them uh, now apparently are trying to get home. A lot of Lexington police officers live in Madison County. I've seen the numerous uh, officers. Uh, obviously, they were trying to get there for the start of that second shift, and uh, maybe some did and some didn't. Uh, uh, so just some of my observations along the way. I did pass our crew that's in the stuck southbound traffic uh, where Bart Bill, uh, our veteran videographer, told me he's been since about 11 o'clock this morning. Uh, so uh, this got serious quickly. Uh, as you know, the, the uh, uh, snow totals, it appears, are on the upper end of, uh, of our projections, and uh, it's a rough day out here. Bill, just stay safe. I know it has been a uh, struggle uh, to get uh, anywhere across central and eastern Kentucky, and the most important thing is that you get there. So stay safe, and hopefully with that northbound traffic moving at least a little bit now, we'll see you here shortly. Amber has made it in. We'll talk to her in just a moment. Let's talk about what is going on with the weather. Oh, it's a snowstorm. That much we know, and that is the view of downtown Lexington right now. And it's another burst of some moderate to heavy snow that is moving back into the region. That is what we're dealing with as of now. So the visibility is dropping. We've got seven to eight inches of snow on the ground. So the visibility is really dropped on this London cam. Parts of southeastern Kentucky now can get in on one to two inch per hour 
snows. So that is what we're going to be dealing with. And then the poor Somerset cam. As soon as I get a break, you know what? I'm going to try to move this camera around a little bit and get some of that snow off. But that's still a really neat shot. Snowfall forecast, we upped this a little earlier. We didn't really move things very much at all. We've still got the northern edge of the Fayette County or the northern edge of the Lexington Metro in a two to five inch band. And we're pushing four and five inches in part of that area. And then from the Lexington area and south, five to 11 inches of snow. And some of us are going to see 10 inches to 11 inches out of this before all is said and done. Matches up incredibly well with the updated winter storm warning that is out from the National Weather Service. It's all the counties that are in the pink, and that does include Lexington and Point South. We still have three to four more hours of some snow to go through. So if you're with us last night and you're with us earlier today, I've been in since uh, doing the noon with Jim, we said that the computer models were too fast in getting the snow in here this morning and getting it out of here this evening. They're still too fast. And this radar gives you a great view in how it's color coded with where the heavy snows is, where uh, heavy snows are, where you see the blue, that is where it's coming down at upwards of two inches per hour the dark blue. So you got that across eastern Kentucky, got another little enhanced band here, and it is trying to enhance again across the Lexington Metro. Lexington has a realistic shot of 10 inches of snow before this is over. We're, we're within two, three inches of that right now, and you got another one to three coming at us. So this is why on Monday of this week, we started ringing those alarm bells for you guys and calling a first alert weather day days in advance of what has turned into a shutdown snowstorm. We don't wait until the night before or the morning of to tell you it's going to snow. This is what we have been telling you for days now. And unfortunately, Mother Nature is delivering the goods. I'm a snow lover. I know a lot of snow lovers are out there too. And you, you like a good snowstorm. You just don't want to see it impact as many people like this. We don't need people stranded on the roads. And unfortunately, this is going to be one of those where the roads, we may have folks that are stranded for several hours through the evening and with bitterly cold air coming in behind it. Here's the Lexington area. Notice how the whites, all of a sudden, we start to darken those colors again into blue. So that's a stripe of some moderate snow that is coming back into Lexington. So that's why now I'm thinking, giving the latest reports of seven, eight inches of snow on the ground, and here comes another enhanced band of some snow that we could push close to 10 inches. Back into Louisville, we picked up an inch or two into this area, so we haven't had nearly as much, but it's still snowing there. Uh, eight to nine inches of snow down part to the Bluegrass Parkway. The Western Kentucky Parkway shut down with a 40 to 50 car pileup that includes semis. We had a uh, major pileup in Montgomery County around Mount Sterling as well. And it's going to take a long time to get these roads clear because of so many accidents. Snow in Nashville shutting down parts of the Volunteer State. That is taking aim at southern and southeastern Kentucky. There's your low. There's the Arctic air that is coming in behind this. Future radar has been, again, a little too fast in getting rid of this. This is a brand new run, so it's slowing it down a little bit. By 11, snows are out of eastern Kentucky. And then it's game on towards some sunshine as we go through the day tomorrow. Look at the current wind chill. So this is where the concern really is for folks who are stuck in their cars. It feels like seven degrees now in Lexington and Covington back into E-Town. The actual temperature is 19 on that strong northwest wind that continues to funnel in bitterly cold air. And by tomorrow morning, single digits are likely and wind chills during that time that can go below zero. That is a 7 a.m. wind chill of six below Zero, And that's what we have been dealing with here across, uh, or what we will be dealing with first thing tomorrow morning. Well, look who we have found, or who found us in the snow. Amber, uh, welcome in. This is a first, folks, in 18 years. First show that you didn't get in on time? I, I live about four minutes from the station, mm -hmm. and I left before 2 o'clock, and I just now got in here. So yeah. I really feel for those folks like Bill and the oh, folks yeah. that are stranded out there on 75 and 64 right now because it is not good. This is sort of the perfect storm because it, is, it yeah. hit mm -hmm. midday. You're telling a lot of folks, go ahead, mm -hmm. get home, mm -hmm. and things really got... 
bad, really, really bad. Yeah, Winchester Sir Barton right now, This you had to come through here, didn't you? I did. Uh, so literally, Winchester Road is, is quite the mess. About the only thing that is moving right now is traffic inbound going t towards downtown. But I understand because my husband was right behind me mm -hmm. that there are a lot of wrecks then once you get oh, yeah, onto those yeah. side streets. Even for myself, once I got moving and I got closer to Hamburg and got closer through to, say, through the interstate, yeah. um, lots of just little wrecks over to the side that you've really got to be careful for. And a lot of people are stranded right now it, in those accidents. And I look at that cam and I was looking, you know, at, at various cams and I am still shocked at how many people are out on the roads. Yes. And I know a lot of folks may have, uh, you know, been out at work or, or you had, you, you, we, life happens. I get mm -hmm. that. But I'm still amazed at how many cars are still on the roads right now. And you know, and while I was stuck in traffic, I had a lot of people ask me, you know, why are the plows not out? Why are they not mm -hmm. doing their job? Well, it's really tough right now because there's a lot of people on the road and you cannot say that they're not doing their job because they are certainly working really hard right now. It's just a mess of a situation with so many people trying to get wherever they're going at this hour. And, in this, the middle and, of this. and this is in Lexington with major roads. That's how bad they are. Mm -hmm. Now you get out in some of the smaller rural areas. Absolutely. It's going to be absolutely, you know, so much worse. And this is, you know, and you see so many people and some folks caught off guard by it. And that's sure. why we preach. Be careful where you get your weather information. We saw it earlier this week in Virginia. Okay. And, mm -hmm. and we said we hope that doesn't happen here, but we're sort of seeing that today. And as I said, I really feel for those folks that have a long night ahead of them yeah. out there on the interstate. I am here now with Chris, so we're going to try to hold down the fort for you. Stay with us. There's much more to come. Tragedy on a Lexington Highway from a drunk driver going the wrong way. This is one of those cases that stick with you throughout your career. And it's happening a lot more than you think. People are still making this choice because they don't realize the consequences. How new technology could stop an intoxicated driver and make your roads safer. No matter how safe you are, you can't control what's outside of your control. WKYT investigates preventing drunk driving tonight at 6. As ride-sharing services become more popular, so do wrecks involving them. So what happens if you get in an accident with a ride-share driver? What if you're a passenger in a ride-share vehicle that gets in a wreck? These ride-sharing cases can be complex. But at Isaacs & Isaacs, we have the people, the experience, and the resources to take on any kind of ride-share case. And we'll fight to get you every dollar you deserve. One call, that's all. Call 800-800-8888. Days like this start like this. WKYT has all the information you need on air, online, and on your phone. WKYT Closings. A warm DQ biscuit. A sizzling Pernell sausage patty. This sausage biscuit sandwich is the ultimate breakfast. A warm DQ biscuit. A sizzling Pernell sausage patty. This sausage biscuit sandwich is the ultimate breakfast. Whoa, deja vu. Oh, wait, you get both. Deja biscuits. Stop by today to get the DQ Sausage Biscuit Twin Pack. DQ, happy tastes good. As meteorologists, we hear it all the time. That's Kentucky weather for you. It's true. Weather around here can seem complicated and disrupt your day. Heavy rain gearing back into parts of Central Kentucky, but that's why we're here, working for you to make it easy to understand. That's the actual frontal boundary itself, so you can see that significant wind change with it. So when you get the first alert, you'll be ready wherever you are to keep your family safe. It's not complicated. We cover it all. WKYT First Alert Weather, only on WKYT. WKYT is your all blue station and we're live every Friday on Facebook to talk all things blue all blue preview every Friday at 3 on Facebook live sponsored by UK Federal Credit Union get WKYT news and weather updates on mix 94.5 Welcome back in here. WKYT News at 4. Many of you share pictures with us of the snow, and we want to let you know that you can do so right now. You can scan the QR code with your smartphone's camera. It's going to take you to the gallery that we have up of snow pictures, and you can upload your pictures there. Let's check out some of those photos that we're getting in here this afternoon. Many of you sending us these photos of your drive home, of you trying to get home. Jessica sending in this picture of Harrodsburg Road between Turfland and 
in St. Joseph, a slow go there. Uh, Bob sending us this snapshot of a winter wonderland there in Lee County. That's a pretty shot there. And when Liz from McCreary County sent us this picture, there was three and a half inches of snow on the ground there. Chances are that total has now increased here this afternoon. This is a perfect Kentucky winter scene from Kelly. It shows two horses there. I guess they're enjoying the snow here in Mount Sterling this afternoon. Christopher sharing a picture of his dog. That's Bobo enjoying the snow. That is a picture perfect shot of Bobo there. And John shared a picture of the snow in downtown Lexington from about two o'clock this afternoon. That's a beautiful shot there. Nicole sent us this picture of her. She's measuring seven inches of snow there in Clark County. Those rulers are getting a workout here today. Thomas sent us this beautiful picture of the snow and a pond at Muddy Creek Farm there in Madison County. A lot of these look like postcard shots here this afternoon. Reagan sent us this picture of roads in South Point in the South Point neighborhood. That is near Brandon Crossing there. And you can see a lot of those side streets really have a lot of snow on them. Not a lot of folks have been traveling on those here this afternoon. Roger from Lexington sent us this video of his golden retriever out enjoying the snow. You know, Dogs really love the snow. People sometimes not so much when you're stuck in it, but that golden retriever really enjoying the snow. All right, we've got some new video that is just in from the standstill that is happening there near the Clays Ferry Bridge. Uh, Brock Quarter posted this video. Do we have that? There we go. Brock Quarter posted this video. You can see the backup there on I-75. The bridge has been shut down for several hours. Cars there are stuck. Officials have not said how long the interstate will be closed, but it could be some time. Stay with us. There is much more to come. Stay with us for WKYT News now at 430. High School Game Time, Fridays at 11, only on WKYT. The new year is a great time to refresh your home's look at the Burke Furniture New Year Sale with huge savings throughout our 65,000 square foot showroom plus 0% financing too. The Burke Furniture New Year Sale going on now. Although it seems like any ordinary day, it isn't. For one extraordinary reason. Because now with Spectrum Mobile, you get unlimited on two or more lines for $29.99 a line. This is a huge deal that'll make you feel larger than life. Get unlimited from Spectrum Mobile for just $29.99 with nationwide 5G included. Call 1-844-955-2999. It's the biggest news in mobile with the best deal ever. Get unlimited talk, text, and data for only $29.99. With no contracts, added taxes, or hidden fees. And nationwide 5G included. Save up to 60% on your mobile bill. Get gigantic savings with unlimited from Spectrum Mobile for just $29.99. Call 1-844-955-2999 or visit a store near you. Switch today and you too will feel larger than life. We started Warby Parker to make glasses more affordable. But then we thought, why can't we do the same thing to contacts? So we did. Shop top contacts brands without the hidden fees. Plus get free shipping and save 15% on your first order of contacts at warbyparker.com. Need a contact lens prescription first? Renew yours at home using Warby Parker's virtual vision test app. That's right, a vision test using only your phone. Whoa. Download the app, then save 15% on your first order of contacts at warbyparker.com. Morgan & Morgan is not only America's largest injury law firm, we're also a local law firm with branch offices right here in your community. We're here for you, wherever you are, whatever you need. There's only one Morgan & Morgan for the people. How's it working out with Benny here at the credit union? Yeah. I'll be right with you, man. My bad. Benny's better at football. We're better at banking. He's working out, in a sense. 
UK Federal Credit Union. It's banking, only better. Start your day with WKYT Mornings. Because every morning is something new. Catching you up on what's going on. Firefighters estimate 30 to 50 acres went up in flames last night. Giving you the first alert to changing weather. The showers get a little closer late tonight, and then they are here on top of us. We'll get you ready as you get ready. That's right. Mornings made easy. Your day starts with Victor, Kristen, and Jim on WKYT Mornings, weekdays from 4.30 to 7. This is WKYT, standing for you, however you stream. The Burt Furniture New Year's Sale. All the best brands at the best prices. Sofas, sectionals, recliners, bedrooms, and dining rooms. And it's all on sale. And don't forget your mattress. The Burt Furniture New Year's Sale. Going on now. CBS Mornings. Weekdays on CBS. Closed captioning on WKYT is sponsored by Cumberland Valley National Bank. Good afternoon to you. Welcome into WKYT News at 430. Snow is causing a mess right now, and the traffic is a mess right now across central Kentucky. We've got crews spread out trying to get you the latest coverage of what's going on out there right now on the roads. We're going to be checking in with them along the way. But first, uh, our uh, first alert weather day continues. I want to get you over to WKYT Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. Chris, you talked to us all week about yeah. this storm, and now we are in the the thick of it, and it is really dangerous out there right now for a lot of folks. Essentially, it's shutting down uh, the Commonwealth. And, you know, yesterday we kept getting closer and closer and raising those totals, and we've been the one, the lone station, sounding the alarm all week long to the potential for a significant snowfall across the region. And that snowfall is underway. Well, it got underway around 10 this morning in Lexington. I saw the first flakes right at 10.01, I believe. Right now, downtown Lexington, we have picked up six Six to eight inches of snow, and it is still coming down. That's the downtown area. So last night and this morning, we bumped those totals up, put that sharp gradient into the northern part of the Lexington metro, got some three, four, and five-inch amounts in Scott County. But once you get into Fayette County, that goes up to six, seven, and eight inches. And now this is a widespread five to as much as 11-inch snowfall before this thing winds down later this evening. Winter weather advisory continues for the northern and northwestern part of the region, but it's a winter storm warning that is out for most of Kentucky, and that is for all the areas in pink. Eastern, the entire eastern Kentucky region is under it. All the 606, much of the 859, the 270, and the 502 dealing with some of that winter storm warning as well. Heavy snow shows up beautiful on our radar, beautifully on our radar. Where you see the blue, folks, that's where you can get upwards of two inches an hour. We had some of that in Lexington earlier in the day. So you got this big batch of heavy snow. It's trying to fill back in across the Lexington metro, and then you've got another round of heavy snow along the Kentucky-Tennessee border counties. That continues to work its way to the east. So in eastern Kentucky, heaviest snow right now is flying from Hazard, Manchester, Hyden, up into Jackson, Sayersville, West Liberty, toward Moorhead. And then into the Lexington metro, we've had some enhanced bands. You see those darker blues that continue to work their way on through. you got one on the east side of Lexington that is showing up, and you've got another two or three hours worth of some light to moderate snows in Lexington. So, Amber, there is the opportunity for even Lexington to push official totals between 8 and 10 inches of snow before this thing wraps up in a few hours. And then we talk about the bitter cold. We'll do that coming up here in a few. All right, Chris, thank you so much. It really is incredible. I should also let you know that my colleague and partner, Bill Bryant, he is one of those thousands of drivers that's stranded out there right now. He is stuck along I-75 in Madison County trying to get here with us. So we'll be checking in with him as well. Right now, we want to take you to the London area. We find our Phil Pendleton in Laurel County this afternoon. We uh, go to him now Hi, right, Phil. Well, Amber, snow has been falling heavily here for several hours, and it seems like it has really picked up in intensity since very early this afternoon, and it continues to come down. And I have noticed a big difference in the amount of traffic from earlier today when it was like a normal day to now when you see very, very few people out and about. Now, traffic in downtown London was moving very, very slowly earlier this afternoon. Uh, it was almost whiteout conditions in that area, like on 5th Street 
in London, uh, we actually got some video of an SUV that ran off the roadway and he was in a ditch and it almost looked like whiteout conditions there. Now, state police say most of their crashes have been on Interstate 75 uh, north in Rockcastle County, and that's where the interstate was closed in at least two different places earlier today. Now, police say it's important to remember what can happen in conditions like this and what can happen very, very fast. Winter is made to the bluegrass. You know, we people like to do stuff. People like to go places and... Uh, you know, we can have all the warning we want, but uh, when it hits, you know, yeah, that first shock is a shock factor. When it hits us, we kind of lose our mind. And, and people that don't know how to drive in it, um, you know, they lose their mind and that's when they wreck because they're going a little too fast. And Scotty Pennington actually let me talk to some of the dispatchers at the Kentucky State Police Post here in London, and they told me that it's just simply one call after another, and hopefully their call volume has gone down drastically as more people are realizing that they do not need to get out and drive in these conditions. Live in Laurel County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. Phil, thank you. We know law enforcement, so many of them are working so hard right now. Traffic literally is a mess everywhere. It doesn't really matter where you go. Uh, the interstate, state roads, city roads, side roads. Uh, in Lexington, roads are really bad. We've seen cars sliding, getting stuck. WKYT's Chelsea Jones, she is near downtown Lexington for us, tracking the, what we're seeing here in the city right now. Chelsea, what are you seeing downtown? Well, you guys, it is certainly a snow day here in Lexington. When we got to downtown earlier today, the coast was clear. But now there is so much snow that you can barely distinguish the sidewalk from the road. City crews have been working around the clock to keep people safe. This afternoon, you could hear the rumbling sound of snow machines and snow trucks. City road crews working 12-hour shifts to keep the coast clear. Earlier today, navigating the streets wasn't so bad. Many drivers out running errands before the snow started to pick up. Yes, I'm getting gas. Last night I got groceries, so I guess I'm ready to hunker down. But by lunchtime, several inches had fallen, creating somewhat of a nightmare on the interstate. Police Chief Lawrence Weathers says parts of I-70 have been shut down. He noted more than 70 non-injury collisions and at least 12 injury collisions around the city. Kathy Ugolini is braving a 21-hour drive from Canada to Florida. She says she's used to the snow. Here's her advice for drivers. You just drive with caution. Marilyn Gordon says the city's salt barns are full. Road crews started pre-treating the roads with salt brine on Tuesday. They're now busy shuffling away snow, but roads are quickly piling back up. So we urge people to stay off the roads if you can. Help your neighbors, especially the elderly, and protect yourselves and pets from the bitter cold, which we understand is coming tonight. Now, as I mentioned, city crews started pre-treating these roads earlier this week. They say that salt brine has been helpful with keeping the roads from freezing over, but they noted that salt brine becomes ineffective at temperatures lower than 15 degrees, and that's why they're telling people to stay home tonight, as, especially as we dip into those single digits. For now, live in Lexington, Chelsea Jones, WKYT. Good advice for all of us. Chelsea, stay safe out there. We're going to bring you much more of this major winter storm that is hitting central and eastern Kentucky right now. Stay with us. There's much more to come. 2022 is the beginning of a new year, and it's also the start of incredible savings at p -Rant. It's a major manufacturer mattress buyout. Luxury sets from Beautyrest, Sealy, and Serta. In hybrid, traditional, or memory foam. Bird plush or pillow top. Save up to $1,500. Queen sets, $9.99. Plus get a free power base upgrade. Free sleep bundle. Free delivery and up to seven years financing. Doorbuster Ashley Hybrid, any size, $1.99. The New Year's sale. Nobody beats Do you suffer from knee pain? 
Ever been diagnosed with osteoarthritis or worried about the risks involved with knee surgery? It hurt all the time, like the nerves were rubbing against each other. I was at the point of either replace my knees because I'm tired of this pain. Get the relief you need without surgery. We're Arthritis Knee Pain Centers, the premier leaders in non-surgical knee pain treatments. Instead of surgically replacing your knees, our state-of-the-art procedures replenish the depleted natural cushioning in your joints with an FDA-approved shock-absorbing gel. Without surgery, and without downtime. After the first injection, I knew it was going to work. We've successfully treated thousands of patients. Medicare and most private insurance cover this procedure. Full motion, no pain, walking, everything just back normal like it used to be. Call 1-800-257-3608 for a free no-obligation knee pain assessment or go to arthritisneepain.com. Call 1-800-257-3608. Today, funeral costs average over $10,000 and are expected to be over $30,000 in 20 years. With these rising costs, seniors must ask themselves these important questions. Can my family pay a funeral bill possibly as high as $30,000? Would my funeral place a financial burden on my loved ones? How can I protect my family from this unavoidable expense? Senior Life Insurance Company offers state-regulated life insurance plans to help cover your funeral expenses. With plans around $12 a month, covering your funeral expenses has never been more affordable. Your low rate is also locked in for life. You can also not be turned down for any health reason. We cover seniors with many common conditions like diabetes, high blood pressure, or arthritis. This is all done with no medical exam. Protect your family with life insurance from Senior Life. Call the number for free information with no obligation. Make the free call now. This is my first time trying on glasses at home. So cute. Five different frames to Morley Parker. Oh, this one's better. Ooh. Ah. Hey. <laughs> the virtual try-on is perfect. Like, they look like they're on my face. Like, look at this. Just swipe and switch. These are definitely a keeper. I think these are the one. Ooh, these look good. That was so easy. They make it so fun and fabulous. What's the FAFSA? I have no idea what FAFSA stands for. Yeah, I've heard a couple of people at school talk about it, but I haven't actually had like a conversation about it. And when I'm preparing for college, my top priorities are how to pay for it. They're really focused on getting you to the college level. They're not really focused on getting you through college, so they don't really talk about the financial aid or FAFSA. The free application for federal student aid is the first step, and it just got easier. Visit knowhowtogoky.org to find out more. Our coverage continues now of this major winter storm that is slamming the state and putting down several inches of snow, making uh, roadways out there just really dangerous and uh, not really drivable at this point. I want to bring in Chris Bailey. Chris, uh, I, like you, I looked out this morning, it was about 10 o'clock, yeah. and I saw the first flakes, and it seems like after that it just really put it on and Boom. it never really slowed down. Yeah, and it's still going out there, and that's why we're between six and eight inches of snow on the ground in Lexington. Take a look at these sky cams. Louisville cam being a little shy on us. We'll look at the other eight. How about that? Frankfurt, the snows are winding down. At least they're lighter. This is nowhere near as much snow in Frankfurt as what we have in Lexington. Covington, just a coating of snow. There you go. It's still snowing in Louisville as the cam pops in. Moderate to locally heavy snow in Lexington. Georgetown, that's the interstate there. And take a little look into Somerset, London, Pike, Pikeville going to get blasted over the next several hours. They're just getting in on the snow. Moorhead, Interstate 64 is a mess. Here's up close and personal across the London area where moderate to heavy snow is setting in. Moderate to heavy snow right on top of Somerset. Visibility here is well under a half mile from where that tower is looking. So this sharp gradient setting up across northern Kentucky and the rest of the region in red, anywhere from 5 to 11 inches of snow potentially showing up. Winter storm warnings continue through the evening for most areas. This was a high-impact snow event. It was expected to be a high-impact snow event for roads. Not going to be power because if it, uh, impact your power because if you've been out in the snow at any point, it's a champagne powder. Skiers love this type of snow. You just throw it up in the air. I mean, it just kind of dusts off the car. No ice with this, so that's a good thing. Radar picture, again, is picking up on snow that is heavy in the areas of blue. Those darker blues, you can get a couple inches per hour showing up. Now, Moorhead, Owingsville, back over toward Lexington. We're still going to pick up another inch or two of snow 
in Lexington and surrounding areas before this thing begins to wrap up. That's the uh, total of the snowfall right now in Lexington. Notice how the back edge is getting close to Louisville. That's still a couple hours away from us in the Lexington area. Seven day forecast, 18 tomorrow's all you get. We're gonna be in the single digits the next two mornings and we'll have wind chills that'll be below zero. Let's take a look at uh, the drive times right now. Let's go to traffic. We know the traffic is an absolute mess, but I wanted just to illustrate things with the drive times to Lexington. Look at Richmond. Right now, it's estimated at 107 minutes, and I think that's, uh, that may be doing it a little too much justice. 47 minutes to get from Nicholasville into Lexington, 50 minutes from Frankfurt, with an average speed right now at 34 miles an hour. But that average speed from Richmond is at 14 miles an hour. And we look up and down Interstate 75, and you can see where the major stops are currently underway. Now, this is showing areas of Madison County north of Richmond with a, uh, on the northbound side there of an average speed of six miles an hour. And look at all the red that is stop traffic in Lexington. The orange is where things are stop and go. And for a lot of folks, it has been a slow go when you are not stopped. So it's a stop and slow go that we are dealing with across Lexington and the entire region. Don't believe me. Don't believe the computers. Let's go out to someone who is uh, driving around, actually a passenger in the car here. She has a driver, meteorologist Allie Blake. Allie, you guys have been out on the roads all afternoon in Lexington. It's still looking rough, isn't it? Yeah, Chris, things are still looking pretty rough out there. We're actually right now on Nicholasville Road. We just passed the Fayette Mall. I will say... These roads right now in Nicholasville are the most at least cleaned up, and the cleanup is very lightly used. I mean, we've seen plows not really in this area, but you can tell that the roads have been plowed. I can see it, it looks like a bluish, maybe sort of salt chemical on the roads in some spots, which is making it easier. But also I can say we've seen I, maybe four or five ambulances pass by. Uh, definitely stay off the roads if you don't have to, because it is a nightmare out there. Even on the main roads, we are still having trouble in some spots. I mean, earlier up here, we passed on Nicholasville Road. We just made a U-turn, and I saw a car in a ditch. I'm sure if you look over on your screen, you can maybe see it as we get closer on up here. But really, just a lot of the brown, dirty snow, along with some maybe even some patches of some very compact and snow, almost like ice on the roadways. And really, we're starting to see traffic come down a bit, which is good. We want people to continue to stay home because the storm is really just a mess out here. But we're going to continue to watch the roads, at least out here in Lexington, and let you know what we're seeing live in Nicholasville Road here in Lexington. Allie Blake, WKYT. All right, Allie, thank you for the reports. And as always, you guys stay safe out there. And uh, that goes for everyone watching. You see the road conditions, and that is on a heavily traveled part of Lexington on Nicholasville Road. You can imagine what those side streets and uh, rural roads are looking like across the region. Of course, some of our interstates are at a standstill. We've got much more team coverage of this major winter storm that is in progress straight ahead on WKYT. Keep it right here. WKYT really is everywhere. Find us on Instagram. As health professionals, we're on your side. We do everything we can to keep your kids happy and healthy so they can do great things. We encourage you to immunize your kids up to age 18 because the facts are clear. Childhood immunizations are a safe and simple way to prevent illness. Sé el héroe que tus hijos necesitan hoy para que ellos sean héroes mañana. Ask your child's health care provider about the benefits of childhood immunization. Indian Motorcycle of Lexington wants to buy your motorcycle any make or model. Visit us today. I was sitting at a red light, and this guy is looking at his phone instead of where he's going. Bam! He rear-ends me. I need a lawyer, and I need one who thinks my case is important, not another file in the pile. I called the Kentucky Courage Lawyers at 855 Wildcat, and they got me a settlement even better than I had hoped. After a car or big truck wreck, call the lawyers with Kentucky Courage. Call 855-WILDCAT. Morgan Collins, Yeast and Salyer. 
Do you have a high school all-star? Tell us why your all-star is the best at WKYT.com slash salute to all-stars. And they could win a $50 prize pack. Salute to all-stars on WKYT.com. Brought to you by Mingy Beef Jerky. At Lexington Overstock Warehouse, we're opening our doors for our extended New Year's sale. Tragedy on a Lexington Highway from a drunk driver going the wrong way. This is one of those cases that stick with you throughout your career. And it's happening a lot more than you think. People are still making this choice because they don't realize the consequences. How new technology could stop an intoxicated driver and make your roads safer. No matter how safe you are, you can't control what's outside of your control. WKYT investigates preventing drunk driving tonight at 6. Start your day with Victor, Kristen, and Jim. Because every morning is something new. Catching you up on what's going on. Giving you the first alert to changing weather. The showers get a little closer late tonight. WKYT mornings, weekdays from 4.30 to 7. Are you ready to rock and roll? I am ready. Learn something new every morning with CBS News. Excuse me, chills. Did it give you chills the first time you did that? We have breaking news this morning. This fire is picking up very fast. Whether it's Saturday, Welcome, everyone. Sunday, of or every weekday, there's always something new under the sun. All Blue Preview, every Friday at 3 on Facebook Live. Welcome back in. We continue to cover this massive winter storm that is hitting the state right now. Roads are just simply a mess all over central Kentucky right now. Our, our meteorologist, Adam Burnison, is literally right outside. He's at the end of our driveway out on Winchester Road. And Adam, I can attest, it took me over two hours to get what usually is about a five-minute drive for me. And there were cars off the road, and it was literally a standstill. Is it still like that? It looks like some folks are moving. Yeah, Amber, it has really been just a mess out here. Even on Winchester Road alone outside of our station, you can look over to my right here and you can see just a tow truck is down there trying to remove a few of the cars that have been stuck and stranded for several hours. We have another truck with his hood up, but these cars trying to navigate around this tow truck causing then problems for inbound lanes of Winchester as well. And earlier we even saw some trucks kind of trying to go around on that left side and ending up getting stuck and then fortunately they got back out and then on this other side you see cars just very slowly trying to get up Winchester Road and even this small of a hill it has been a problem has been an issue for many small cars because once this slowdown happens then their wheels just start spinning and they can't really make it up the hill that well because these roads have gone untreated we've been out here for about about two hours now, if not three hours for myself, and I have not seen one plow truck go by here on Winchester Road, and I can even see further down uh, near Polo Club, there are some police lights, so there could even be a situation down there. Now, if there's any silver lining to this situation, it's that the snow is lightening up, but still, these roads are dangerous. It's going to take you extra time if you are out on the roads, but as we've been mentioning, as state officials have mentioned, if you don't have to be out on the road just don't drive stay home stay safe and if you have to drive just take it slow but for now live in lexington i mean you're all just adam burdison thank you it has been a long afternoon for a lot of folks it's going to be a long night and chris bailey now the concern is is the snow might be trying to lighten up but it's the yeah. frigid temperatures for those folks that may be stuck in their cars tonight on the interstate yeah we're going to get down it, we're into the teens it's 19 right now in lexington we're going to be into the low and mid teens uh, a little later this evening and by tomorrow morning single digits are going to be showing up in terms of temperatures of the wind chill below zero. So our snow continues across central and eastern Kentucky, lighter snows out across the west. Here in Lexington, we got about two more hours of some moderate snow, light to moderate snow to go through. The radar shows the heavier bands of snows that are showing up in those darker blues. That is now into far eastern Kentucky and another little batch that is coming out of uh, around the Bowling Green area, lifting into Somerset, London, Corbin. That'll roll over top. Uh, over of some of those same areas and that's why we had this corridor highlighted all week for the potential for several inches of snow and mother nature is now delivering the goods heavy snow in the blue a little lighter brand of snow but as adam was uh, showing you earlier 
it's a very powdery snow that is out there. So it, we're and with cold air, you maximize the amount of moisture that is in the air. The colder that temperature, the less moisture it takes to produce snow. And across the Lexington area, again, six to eight inches on the ground, we may pick up another inch or two to push those totals to eight to 10 inches into the Lexington Metro. Roads are a mess. We've got crews across the entire region with team coverage that will continue on WKYT News at five after the break. Ashley Home Store's New Year's sale ends Monday. Don't miss up to 30% off store-wide or 0% interest financing for six years. Find this five-piece dining set, only $20 per month. Ends Monday, only at Ashley Home Store.